Hi everybody, it's Sunday. I am heading to the beach, Anna Maria Island Beach. It's my favorite. I have a secret spot that I always go to. It's a public beach access and no one really knows about it. It's really great. So um, yeah, I'm just ready to head out and just relax there for a couple of hours and um, soak in some sunshine and do some reading. In this week's video, I am going to take you through my week starting with last Sunday when I drove out to Anna Maria Island for a couple of hours to unwind. And then um, you'll see different clips throughout the week as I go to different thrift stores and spend time with family and um, do my normal work week. I discovered this small public beach when I first moved to Bradenton. I was biking up and down Anna Maria Island on my new bike that I had bought and I saw this little street with a couple of public parking places and I come here all the time now because I can always find parking. The beach is not too crowded and it's just one of my favorite places probably in the entire world. <laughs> The following day was Monday and I went to court and this is me dancing in the court bathroom because I finally got to close a horrible chapter of my life and then I went out to lunch with my mom. <laughs> Cheers! To new beginnings! <laughs> After our celebratory lunch, we went to a Goodwill that was in the same plaza that's in Bradenton off of State Road 70 near the highway and um, the two of us just had a ball looking at different things. I only ended up buying two things and I'll show you at the end of this clip what I ended up buying. Um, one of my friends was telling me how much he pays for his magic cards and I guess they are highly collectible but I just don't know anything about them so I didn't buy that set. It looked like a set you could buy at Walmart but um, <laughs> I'm definitely on the lookout for the ones that are worth like hundreds or thousands of dollars. And then I keep finding these Hellenistic cups. I found another set at a different Goodwill that were gray and these were the blue, the light blue color. Um, they keep selling them at Goodwill for like $4.99 for one glass so that's why I haven't picked up a set yet. Also they never have the carrier with them um, and then this was a really cool silver plated tea set it just looked so fun like something out of alice in wonderland and speaking of alice in wonderland here was another really pretty porcelain set it was from That's england that, uh, i looked it up and it wasn't worth a lot but um and there's more of the hellenistic style glasses I wish they everybody was looking at them but glass. nobody That's was willing to pay four dollars per glass I really love the vintage Mikasa pieces that you can find, or wait, was that Mikasa? Yes, Mikasa. <laughs> they did, it's a Japanese brand, they did a lot of dinnerware, uh, teacups like that, she's and they're research. just so fun and retro looking. <laughs> and then I found a pair of Kate Spade sparkly white Keds in my size, so I had to buy those, they were $9.99. 
and they had another pair of really fun shoes. They were not in my size, but how fun is that? <laughs> This brand is made local or was made in Florida. It's called Key West Fashions and they would make these um, kind of high-end cotton dresses, very retro prints. And I bought one dress at Goodwill and sold it for like $35 a while back, but I wasn't a huge fan of that print. I got these shoes for $10 and they are Kate Spade for, uh, it's a collaboration that she did with Keds, or not her, but the company, rest in peace. Um, so I love these, these are very sparkly, and this is like a ribbon, the shoe laces are ribbon, which I think is so cute and pretty. So they're actually in really good shape, I'm just gonna clean them up just a little bit. And then I found this in the jewelry case uh, for $4.99, a Lily Pulitzer um, Apple Watch wristband. So I'm wearing that right now. And then I got a blue dress that I'll be wearing today. So here we go. I am ready to have a great day at work today. Woohoo! <laughs> Happy Tuesday, everybody! Yay! Wow, I'm walking the dog and it's about 7.45 a.m. And look how majestic this massive live oak tree looks. With the sun shining through it, there's a little bit of like mist or fog. And then you can just see this branch here. All of that Spanish moss just hanging down. This looks beautiful. Wow. God is so good, y'all. A few mornings a week, I get up at 5 a.m. and I go to the river walk and run, and I caught the most gorgeous sunrise. I was all sweaty. <laughs> Yesterday was Saturday, the day before Mother's Day, so my brother and I surprised my mom at work with flowers and a card and a balloon. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> wow. 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 That's so funny. Wow. <laughs> now I can do the <laughs> <laughs> While I was in there, of course, I had to check out everything in the thrift store and I picked up a few things and even my brother scored a gorgeous um, China set from Japan, which you'll see in a moment. Uh oh, what's going on over here? <laughs> Oh, Lance so found a whole set. <laughs> that is gorgeous, though. Is, uh, oh my gosh, Cece's gonna love it too. Uh, Mount Fuji. That's beautiful. Ancient, what a good find. Traditional Japanese artwork. It's beautiful. Yay! Good find, Lance. Good find. This is what I picked up at Fabulous Finds, the thrift store that my mom works for. Um, this is just an old <laughs> heating pad. And then I got these fabrics. This was $4.99 and this one is $5.99. So I'm just gonna kind of open these up and see what I've got here. But it looks like this is a vintage fabric. So I'm really excited about that. And I don't know if this one's vintage necessarily, but it's just really beautiful. This is the butterfly floral fabric and it is really long. Springs Industries. Okay, and then this is the other fabric. This is not cotton or it's some kind of, um, I don't know my fabrics very well, maybe like a polyester. Happy Sunday. Today is actually Sunday and I'm about to upload my weekly video. Um, I just ran a bunch of errands, so I actually have groceries in the trunk of my car and it's like 90 degrees outside, but I had to pop into the Goodwill that's right next to my house. I haven't been in here in like two weeks. Hey, orange. Excuse me. 
I found this dress that looks like it's made for Little House on the Prairie or a fairy tale. I almost bought it. It was only $7.99, but I'm trying to be better about only buying things that I will actually wear. And then I loved this dress. I definitely bought that. It was also $7.99. I loved the style. And then this silver dress was another dress that I picked up for $7.99. This was an H&M brand dress. It was really beautiful. It looked like it might be a tad bit small. That's the only reason why I didn't buy it, but it was also $7.99. I need to remove myself from the dress section. I have so many things. I'm extremely tall for a girl especially, and it's hard to find shoe sizes in my size. Um, anywhere I go, not just thrift stores. But today I scored a few pairs of shoes that were size 10s. I actually ended up putting those silver pearl sandals back. I'm now kind of regretting that as I rewatch this footage. <laughs> those were cute. I should have bought those. But I did get these little booties with, I love that style. Then I saw some really pretty strappy guest sandals. They were too small for me, but super cute. And then they were selling Sperry's. It said as is, I'm not sure what was wrong with them. And then right next to the Sperry's were some Michael Kors heels and they were selling them at $19.99. So not enough of a profit margin for me to resell them. And then look, a pair of Converse in size 10, but I already have a few pairs of shoes like this. So I didn't need another one. I've been in here for five minutes and I already have six dresses and three pairs of shoes on my cart. <laughs> I should probably get out. I love this chair. $75, it's so cute. these vintage 90s paintings, $59.99. $14.99, it's beautiful, there's two of them. I'm so tempted to get these. I used to have vases that looked exactly like this. Wow, look at this one. That is so cool. $30. I wonder if this works. It doesn't say tested. As you can see, I found three really cool lamps at Goodwill today and it was really tempting to buy these, but I wasn't sure if they would work. Um, usually if they have tested the lamp and it works, they'll write tested on the tags, but these didn't say tested. So um, I don't know how to rewire anything. So unfortunately I had to pass on these lamps. One of the great things about living in this part of Florida is that there is never a shortage of mid-century and vintage decorations to be found at Goodwill and other thrift stores.
I really liked this boho style stuffed duck. Um, I tried to look it up on Google Lens, but I didn't have any reception in there, so I can't really tell what this was or who made it. But I'm not a fan of duck decorations, <laughs> otherwise I would have bought this if it were probably any other type of bird. <laughs> but I have enough ducks in my backyard, so I didn't need that one. And then this was just a really cool silver skeleton head. It was plastic and a little pirate gun. So I don't know if somebody donated something from like a pirate themed play or party, but both of those were there. I've also been finding a lot of Hollywood Regency styled decorations at this Goodwill in particular. Um, there's never a shortage of like wall sconces and wall plaques and they've been doing pretty well on eBay, this type of style. I don't know if you can see the price tag on the back of this here, but it was only like $6.99 and I almost bought that for my living room. I was very excited to find this picture frame. This is a vintage Italian brass frame with uh, bubble glass and I sold one of these a couple of months ago and they're just a great find. And <laughs> I really, I loved this driftwood mirror but the, it was $15 but that was so cute. And then this um, print was so cool too and this would match all the colors in my living room. I might end up going back for that. It was $25. I wish it were like 15, I would have bought it then. I am a sucker for vintage glassware. Um, I collect it and I almost bought six of these glasses, but I'm proud of myself. I ended up putting them back, but I, <laughs> I don't know why I'm just such a sucker for these glasses and this type of like crystal um, plates and dishes. Yeah, I snatched them all up, but I ended up putting them back. This reminds me of the show Mad Men. I swear Betty was always wearing one of these house coats. These were so like 60s and 70s. This one was actually made in Paris and I thought about buying that to resell. It did have that little um, snag though that I just showed. Um, and then I found this, this, I just, I like wearing stuff like that to bed. Okay, this was the dress that I really wanted to buy, but I was like, where am I ever gonna wear this? A Renaissance fair? And then these were just really cool heels. Not my size, but they were so fun. All right, I'm home from my Goodwill trip. I ended up buying this for $2.99. I am going to take that little bird picture out, but this is a brass vintage photo frame made in Italy with this red velvet backing. Um, it looks like they had to tape it closed there, so it's a little damaged. But I sold one of these that was a little bit bigger um, for like $20 a couple of months ago. These are just really cool and collectible. It has that bubble the bubble glass so um these are really fun for like a gallery wall whatever 
I really need some more shoes. I hate buying shoes, <laughs> but they actually had two pairs in my size that look um, pretty like newish, like not super worn. I mean, I will just take like a Clorox wipe and wipe the inside, but um, I got this for $12.99. These are super cute for summertime. I can wear these to work, wear these with jeans, whatever. Same with these. I can wear these to work with like a dress or a skirt or I can wear them with jeans and a t-shirt and look kind of cute. So I was good today. Here's what I ended up getting. This is all for me. I'm not reselling any of these. Um, I absolutely love this black dress. I can wear this to work and I just love how it has this 1950s style cutout in the front it's just like super flattering and it has this little rhinestone charm on the zipper so i'm really excited about this dress i'm probably gonna wear this tomorrow with these shoes i think that will look really cute i also picked up this silver bodycon dress i love bodycon style dresses they're they're flattering on everybody's figure um the only thing with this one is that it does have this open cutout all the way down the uh, front, but I can just wear this with like an undershirt so that I'm not showing off my cleavage and my stomach at work. <laughs> but this is one of those dresses that's versatile because I can wear this out um, uh, when I go out at night, like, and I can just wear it and I don't mind wearing it um, with a little bit of skin showing when I'm going out, just not to work. And then I got this super pretty dress. It's an express dress and it's a dark purple color. And it's just, it has long sleeves. That's the only thing I'm worried about with the heat. But I just love this crossover V neck style where it looks like it ties um, in the front. And this will also look really good with either of these shoes. I could wear it with these or with these. I might actually wear this purple dress tomorrow. That would actually be really cute with these shoes. I think those colors would look great. So that'll be my outfit for tomorrow. Um, and all of those dresses were $7.99. So I spent $8 on each of those dresses. And then I picked this up. I am one of those people. I buy everything at Goodwill, shoes, whatever. I'll just wipe them down with Clorox. And then this is just a little nighty that I can wear. I love wearing stuff like this to bed. It's comfortable, but it's also cute. So it was a good uh, a good day today. Everything I found is stuff that I'll wear. And I also made a sale on my eBay store, so I'm gonna get this shipped out tomorrow. But I actually sold, I'm a little surprised I sold these now. It's May 11th today, but I sold a bunch of Avon Easter ornaments. Um, so there's a bunch of them in here and they're really cute. So uh, I sold them for $11.99 plus $10 shipping. So I made like $22. Of course, eBay will take their fees out of that. So really only made like $10, but hey. It's all, it all adds up. So.